Hey guys, I'm just going to add this live to a couple of groups. So uh, if you can hear this video, if you can see this video, just send me a little bit of a message in the comments just so that I can check that you can hear and see the sound, okay? Just waiting for people to find the video. Hey, Brian. Hey Mark. So, uh, just a bit of an impromptu uh, video tonight, um, focusing on the energy that is here right now. So, just waiting for a couple more people to find the video before I start really sharing more. Good morning, Josie. Just give me one sec, guys. So, welcome, welcome, people. So, I really was just hopping on to give a little bit of an update of what I feel has been happening, um, where I've been what's been going down um, yeah so it's been quite a uh, an interesting time energetically it's been very powerful as as it is and it, as it will continue to be with the um, accelerated frequencies the astrology that keeps bombarding us with new transits new um, alignments the nodal axis shift that is just happening in this new moon in cancer as well um, so this is uh, this feels a, a very deep moment, uh, a pivot point yet again, I suppose, in between the um, you know the seven 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 frequency and the, and that powerful portal that opened. I haven't really talked about the the group um, since then. Um, the seven seven group. I was in Cairns for that one, and always a powerful experience. Cairns for me, uh, beautiful, uh, lush. Rainforest, very ancient codes, very deep or a uh, heart connection for me up there. So whenever I do um, transmissions up there, I always feel that the energy is amplified, the work's amplified, and what comes through feels like it has a different flavor. As it does, you know, when we work from different grid locations, you know, wherever we have uh, situated when we're doing energy work, channeling work, you know, we tune into the essence of that place as well as the essence of, our, of ourselves in that place. And this may also include um, past life uh, cellular memory that comes up around that place uh, where we have been on that land before previously. So we're working with the uh, multidimensional holograms of the area and our own multi-dimensional hologram when we do these transmissions in different locations or whether whether indeed you are still working with these energies with me at home you know you're tuning into me via these places which means that you get a bit of a I guess a bit of a download of what's coming through for me in those places whether it be through the uh, spoken word in English or whether it be through um, light language transmissions yeah so briefly the 777 was a powerful um, beginning to a, a series of Egyptian events that I'll be running Egyptian transmissions the uh, 777 particularly focusing with the emerald tablets and Thoth uh, working with this this um, the heart chakra the emerald heart uh, of Thoth um, also releasing keys codes um, and packages of an essence light uh, for the group that I worked with, uh, really tying back to the Egyptian timeline and Thoth. 
And so this uh, and this was working with our own heart space, the heart of Amenti, uh, Middle Earth, and also the galactic heart. So it was a trinity frequency, a master frequency. So this was about mastering our own energy, becoming our, our own, I guess, um, higher self consciousness embodied in the 3D vessel. And it was interesting, post that event, I had some personal um, I guess initiations, if you will, to step up, to hold my own light, and to sort of really uh, work with some deep um, wounding, you know, also at the same time that came up around that. Uh, and I feel like that was an initiation after the 7-7 to really step up into more of my mastership, if you will, as, a, as a, an energy being, as a light being, and also as a transmitter or, or um, transformer of frequency for others around me. Um, so I feel like that's what we're sitting in now in the, in the new moon in Cancer, you know, the new moon in Cancer, a very, um, well, how can I say, a very touchy feely moon, yeah, a very touchy feely moon. So that could mean that you've got the feels going on around vulnerability, around, um, around old wounds coming up, around, um, feeling a bit frustrated, deep, deep energies moving through the body. And this I feel again is you know, another marker point or spiritual um, kick, really, kickstart to really deepen into ourselves so that we can pivot forward uh, in the next few weeks up to the 8-8 portal. So a lot coming up. Uh, I feel the topic of return to innocence. Um, this could be by uh, the initiation and all of the energies that are being activated in people through the um, the the movie we all know the movie I'm talking about that movie uh, wh whether it's of nefarious purposes whether it's there's many different um, narratives going around about the authenticity and the motivation be behind this movie and regardless of motivation and um, uh, potential psyops if you will um there has to be one thing said that it brings this 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 subject of the children up into the forefront of people's consciousness and as that brings that um energy up to it to the surface i feel that is activating um some of us uh deeply through our past life um uh, experiences experiences should i say uh, obviously there's also wounding from this life many uh, have experienced abuse or such like um which may be triggered through the movie and uh, and all those talking about the movie etc etc but also i feel very drawn at this point to be working with the egyptian timeline and this egyptian timeline i, I am going to do this group on the 30th of july uh, just prior to the n8 portal because this is a group where uh, it, uh, I've named the transmission Reclaim Your Egyptian Magic. Yeah. And so what was, has been coming up for me strongly in, in the transmissions, in the groups lately, is that, yes, we're in the Syrian Egyptian portal on the, all the way to this 8-8 and a little bit after. And so we have a, and yet another opportunity to revisit the energies of that timeline and to um, neutralize and to claim back um, frequencies. There are many that fear uh, what happened in Egypt will be recreated or fear stepping into their own power for um, because they fear that they will misuse it or uh, similar to the Atlantean story or that it, uh, they will be corruption, corruption or corrupted. So this is a very strong theme, of course, many timelines, but uh, I'll be working with this on, on the Sunday in Parisian, also online. Uh, particularly around the, uh, the loss of innocence and this will be worked with um, around Egypt and uh, the ritual practices of the tunnels and the distortions of the mystery school. It's not the only focus for this event, it's not the only focus, but it will be, I feel, um, one of the focuses to sort of clear some of that energy so that we can move forward uh, in that soul monad that have experienced the trauma of Egypt. Uh, and are wanting to be freed now because this is a time of liberation. Yes, we are being liberated bit by bit as the 
passages of energy not sharp we are liberated success um, success civilly after one after another uh, uh, grid points in within us have been um, discharged of old energy and we're becoming more in alignment yeah so it's very strong right now it's very strong energy and it's a very strong impetus to break free of the old patterns and of course as usual you know we are faced with ourselves to break free you know yes there's lots of things going on in the world that may not be so pleasant but it's really uh, all about an inside job right now so that inside job i would say is is primarily about returning to our own innocence uh making amends within within our hearts within our beings um within our home you know cancer new moon in cancer new beginnings home uh, I, when I talk, think about home and uh, I feel more about the inner home within our, within our, within our uh, conduit, we are becoming more and more um, uh, conscious, aware, taking more responsibility for our beingness and what comes up, our triggers, and also finding our voice, yeah, finding our voice. So this is also a theme of the year of, of the... Um, water rabbit you know also a very innocent animal yeah that um very psychic very tuned in so i feel like this is a very um powerful time to release emotion powerful time to feel emotion and powerful time to integrate emotion and notice where it, it has its origins often not about the now potentially from other times or even your younger self growing up this is a time to really acknowledge that and to to be gentle and, and be courageous in exploring these these um, aspects of ourselves that maybe you're now ready to be uh, uh, unearthed from the subconscious. And I'm talking at an individual level, but also in a collective consciousness field. And, if, and also I feel to talk about um, monads, monad structure. So what I, when I talk about monad structure, I'm talking, um, I'm talking about um, groups of souls that come from a similar essence yeah I, I, that's my version uh, someone else might have a different version of monad but i would say uh that is what what uh i feel i want to say and um you know as blocks of us as uh, as light workers of holders of space and collective consciousness are going through similar themed uh, releasing um and this is because we uh came in uh, many lifetimes um, to do work the, of, a, of a spiritual uh, alchemy um, and uh, we find each other once again to, to recreate the codex that we are here to bring through as a collective field and that is something that really powered in at the 777 portal yeah um, yeah big energies tonight guys it, it it really came in around the the there was a group of us in the seven seven portal uh 12 i feel there was about 10 in the room but also people online and um this energy was a group of seers back from the day of uh, and we all held within us key codes of light consciousness from the emerald uh, tablets now the emerald tablets were um uh, screw, uh written uh, by Thoth, uh, the Atlantean, yeah, and uh, but because of the um, distortions, yeah, the distortions of um, of light, of the mystery schools, of the timing of what was going on there, and also the 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 sexual distortions and the, the misuse of mistreatment of children, all of this was playing out. So there 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 had to be a um, uh, a hiding of the tablets consciousness and some of us took this energy into our hearts as a symbol as a symbol and there was a group of seers that did this seers when i mean psychics intuitives um that held that consciousness and uh it was a powerful and um dare i say humbling experience to support the activation and the release of these keys into uh the earth once again yeah so 
much is shifting now because we are in a time of um, vastly accelerated consciousness because of all the work we're all doing. I'm not saying I'm the only one. I know there's lots of people doing key code work at the moment. Um, thank you to all of the different groups. Um, but, but it's powerful, you know, and as we step up in our frequency and hold much more of a magnetic field within our heart space, we are able to continue this work um, more um, finely, more powerfully, and more um, succinctly, succinctly linking together to kind of form a group monad field. Um, that's my group. I, I, my uh, group, if you will, the group of people that I connect with and do these groups with is creating one monad field and then there's other groups doing their work and it's this energetic morphing within the collective field that is really causing the um, rapid acceleration and, and the sort of like marker points where the energy shift up and then a new level of awareness comes into the collective field as well as um, a new layer of readiness and preparedness for um, more disclosure, yeah, uh, and 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 that when I'm saying more disclosure, there are many forms. So you tune into um, really uh, what that means for you personally, because uh, it is important right now that we stay um, in our own in our own process. You know, it's important not to be in denial, not to be in um, fantasy land, just uh, all love and lighting all over the town, if you will. It's important to be uh, aware of the particular threads, narratives, and um, unfoldments of certain aspects of the collective field. And but it's also important to really be diligent and look after your own home. Yeah, really be uh, diligent and looking after your own home because there is so much um, bombardment of frequency and. Um, distracting energies that um, wish to take us out of alignment yeah and there is a uh, I was reading a post today and I feel it to be very spot-on that you know there's a, a small window of opportunity where those that wish um, for us not to uh, jump to higher octaves can uh, mess with our energy fields um, and we're in that window we're in that um, ten-year window really yeah for, uh, the uh, uh, 2020-2030 yeah so this is the time where we're uh, in what sometimes feels like a spiritual war um, a war of frequency yeah a war of frequency you know so how are you going to stay in your highest frequency in your highest um, energy so that you can be of sacred surface to the collective field and so that you can allow your light to be anchored through your conduit and um, and to really purge out and process and in and not from an intellectual level but from a, a feeling sense you know this is the cancer energy the feelings the emotional responses to things we've been invited to go deep at this moment in time into that heart space into that emotional body uh, uh, like water like the oceans yeah um, so that we can um, just release now again another releasing moment of what no longer serves so that we can start into this joyous a new beginning of this cancer new moon um sometimes you don't feel it as joy sometimes you feel like you're wading through mud yeah and we are we are doing a lot of ancestral and karmic releasing um so that we can free the generations from uh, this frequency band that we've been trapped in for um, quite a bit long cycle yeah so it is happening we are moving forward we are moving up um, I know it's heavy at times but we're doing the work and we're challenged and we're given initiations and we're given rewards and we're given and, and take a moment to take a breath and celebrate at times because it's it's potent and it's on it's really on right now so um i would i will bring through some light language in a moment um uh, and, and if you are new to me that new to this channel um light language really is just uh, uh strange sounds if you will that i channel through from my higher self 
And this is just really to bring in more clarity, more clearing, and more consciousness into your being. It's a soul knowing, really. If you resonate with it, um, it's a soul knowing that you've known this energy uh, f from from other lifetimes. And if it doesn't resonate, fair play, go elsewhere. I have no um, attachment, yeah, to to this being for everybody, yeah, because it isn't, you know. Mm. So, mm. so, so I hope you can join me uh, on the thirtieth in uh, Sunshine Coast on Sunday afternoon for this powerful. Uh, uh, reclaiming your Egyptian magic uh, workshop. Um, yeah, it's it's a two hour event. You can join me in in online if you're not local, or if you're in Brizzy, or if you're in uh, Sunshine Coast and you wish to attend. Please shout out to me in the private messages. Yeah. Um, do, 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 do. Of course, the eight eight portal will be in Sydney, and I'll be posting that. Um, after the 30th probably yeah <clears throat> so what is it like you know as 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 you know I work with crystal energies and drawn to different crystals uh, uh, and I feel like they really amplify and activate during the transmissions I do and this um, this little beauty I received uh, when I got home on Sunday only yesterday yeah um, and I feel to, to work with with this piece firstly so this is a, a clear quartz brain, a human brain, you know, kind of cool, kind of cool. And really, this is, this is really, um, this is an energy transmission to just even out your neural pathways, to just um, create balance in the, the, the center of your consciousness and to just even out any disruptions or any discordant energies that have been triggered up by uh, strong emotional responses um, during, um, yes, Tanya, wow, wow, uh, during this, uh, this full moon that's a deeply emotional, deeply, um, deeply potentially triggering, uh, a time, you know? So let us just work with this, uh, balancing energy for the, for the brain, you know, for the brain. Shalabarakatapotaki, Shalabarandarki, 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 but the Kipotuko Toko. Shalaboko to the Diki, Shalaboto 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 to the Diki, uh, with others, what's going on for you? Anything and anything in particular that you wish to share around this uh, new moon energy that may want to come into the group field right now as we continue to work. So, um, uh, so I'll also introduce to you um ready eddie i call him yeah ready eddie how cool is he yeah so he's a uh, red jasper pelican and he's got a little bit of a quartz quartz snout or beak yeah 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 uh i felt that mark too going into the pineal yeah definitely and so this this is a um Obviously, the, the pelican's all about, um, I, I feel, transformation, uh, stepping into the new, flying through uh, f expansion, transformation, um, and also the red jasper, very earthy, very grounding, yeah? So I'm just bringing in this kind of uh, red, red, um, red light through the central channel, and this is to, this is to actually, this is to release any 
um, subconscious fears of not being safe. Yeah. So this is deep subconscious fear of not being safe. As you, as these energies rattle us a little and shake us into an expanded place. Yeah. We're often um, faced with a, maybe a little bit of uh, trepidation, fear, or um, lack of safety from the past that comes up through the lower chakras as the highlight sort of rattles them out. Yeah. So I'm just going to uh, work. Yes, <laughs> with Ready Eddie to. Um, to bring um, down this red pillar of light. And this is just to anchor us firmly in our centers uh, during this, uh, a bit of a, a wobbly uh, time through this new moon. And also to, to just uh, release any de uh, um, fear or uh, terror of safety issues. Uh, so look, base chakra as well, base chakra as well. So, hey Catherine. So let's just do this, okay. So you, if you wish, you can focus on your whole central pillar, or if you prefer, just your base chakra, while I, w I work with the sound, okay? <clears throat> Shombo do the gibbo do the gibbe de gibbo do donna kate de gibbatana naka batana naka. Solo do 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 de gibbatana naka batana naka. Shalabo do 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 do. Shale bata tiki pe teki pe teki pe teki te 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 tu 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 solo tu 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 ti solo tu tu ti ki patana na ka shala patata patata na ka shala patata na ka pataka 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 shala patata 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 ka so take a breath take a breath you know so yes yeah, so working with um, deep uh, sensations, deep feelings in this new new moon in Cancer. You know, we're invited to release old, I guess, limitations. You know, that's the flavor of the times we're in, where we, um, mm, where we, uh, I like that, Nicole, I like that. Um, where we are being invited to see the truth. Yeah, invited to uh, see the truth, not what has been portrayed as truth, but our own truth. This is a coming into uh, our own really deep truth of self, yeah? Truth of self, a return to the innocence, yeah? A return to the innocence and the truth of self, not um, corrupted by uh, what has happened to us in our lives, what... Uh, Trauma from the past, blah, blah, blah. We are coming back into authentic power. Authentic power and truth at a soul level. Yeah? And so there are times in the process that we have to excavate some, some um, little packets of um, goodies that no longer serve. Um, and that is, uh, in this new moon in Cancer, that is one of those times where we're being invited to go deep, to, 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 to go wide and expansive. Yeah? So, this little guy, yeah, I've got to share him too, hey. So this little guy, how cute is he? He's he's um, he's a tiger iron, so very similar to uh, tiger's eye, yeah? very similar to tiger's eye, and um, he's a, a cute koala. So for the Aussies, yeah, and um, again, uh, very gentle, playful uh, creatures very placid, uh, very innocent in some ways. I mean, yes, they do get chlamydia, we all know that, but also very innocent. <laughs> so, um, let us release uh, and return to innocence, yeah? Let us release and return to innocence. And so this is going to be working on the sacral chakra um, because uh, it's about courage, it's about power, and it's also about feeling that it's safe and you can release anything in the sacral chakra that actually uh, has been shamed or you've been shamed um, so that you can step more fully into who you are and the power that you hold within your being. So this is um, particularly a divine feminine transmission, but obviously we all hold aspects of both. So whether you're in a male or a female body does not matter. But this is a, a divine feminine clearing where the... Um, 
the energy of the sacral has been shut down, shamed, or or even um, uh, cut out, if you will. So let us just um, <clears throat> let us just work with that now for the sacral. Yeah. シャラポテルコボトテケバルカパカパテルケバリコボトテケパテルケバリコボトテケパテルケバリコボトテケパテルケバリコボトテケパテルケパテルケパテルケパテルケパテルケパテルケパテルケパテルケパテルケパテルケ
Uh, take care. Bye for now.